strip cable on both ends. For the tail cable and the drop cable, about 150 millimeters. Cut the cores in a staggered manner. Join the ends and protect with PVC insulating tape. Then position heat shrink ferrule tubes centrally over the connection and shrink into place simultaneously, starting from the middle of the tube and applying the heat circumferentially outwards until the sealant has fully melted and the tube has achieved a uniform wall thickness. Apply the same procedure for the other three remaining cores. Insert the mold and make sure the connection is at the center of the mold, the PVC pipe. Then roughen the cable on both ends, depending on the size of the mold, to allow uniform bonding. Apply one layer of 50% stretched and 50% overlapped gray butyl masking tape over the connection and onto the cable insulation. Position the heat shrink outer tube centrally over the joint. Shrink into place, starting from the center of the tube and applying heat circumferentially outwards until the external sealant has fully melted and tube has achieved wall thickness. Insert PVC pipe, mold, and seal one of the cable entry points using the PVC insulating tape. Then support the mold upright before pouring the compound. Because it's tilting towards one side, so I have to put this one to make. Wear gloves before you start preparing the compound. Open the silver foil bag and carefully remove the inner plastic bag. Remove the separating strip and then mix thoroughly and ensure the compound becomes uniform in color. Mix and squeeze until it becomes warm, approximately five minutes. 
not so that it will be vigorous. And then pour onto the mold. Allow the compound to cure fully for 24 hours. <laughs> 